Hi there. Wanted to go over a couple of different things that has been fairly commonly asked when trying to troubleshoot speed issues for 802.11n. One of the things I want to go over is just a couple things that we want to look at for your Cisco wireless controllers. First of all, don't forget that there's a couple of things that you have to have on uh, if you're going to go ahead and make this work. For 802.11n, it does require you to use AES encryption. Now you can go ahead and just simply have it be open, but if you are going to use encryption, you do need to use AES. The other thing we want to check is to make sure that the MCS data rates are enabled, and I'll show you how to do that. And then the last thing that we want to do is make sure that WMM, or Wireless Multimedia, is turned to on. And I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of that. So let's go ahead and get over to a controller, and we will show you what a person needs to do to take care of all of this. So first of all, we're going to do is get in, configure one of our controllers. So let's click on controllers and then choose a controller to go ahead and take a look at. And I'll just go ahead and choose this one because it's a 5500. And once we go ahead and get our options loaded up here, first thing I would take a look at is let's go ahead and look at the 802.11a slash n and go ahead and click on the high throughput and just verify that you have the MCS data rates turned to on. And we do see here that it's actually turned to enabled. And if I scroll down, all of my different data rates are actually turned on and supported. So that one is looking good. Last one that I would check on is to come to the BGN, do the high throughput on it, and check to see how those are set up. And this one is also turned to enabled. And if you take a look, all of these MCS data rates are also turned on. So we're good there. Now, the next thing you want to do is actually take a look at the wireless LANs themselves. So now we'll go ahead and actually take a look at the wireless configurations. And I'll go ahead and just choose one of the first ones here. So on this particular one, we're taking a look at WLAN 7. We've got two different things that we want to take a look at. First of all, remember we said we want to have, from a security perspective, if we are using encryption, it has to be AES. And so if you take a look here, uh, we are using WPA, WPA2 in this particular example, and AES encryption is turned on. Now, optionally, you can go ahead and have TKIP turned on for legacy clients, but you do need to require AES for some of those. Uh, and here's just an example. If I were to go ahead and, for example, be using static WEP, this would not work. So Make sure, like I said, that you're using AES. Last piece to take a look at, and I'm not going to save this so that that'll actually default back to where it was, is taking a look at uh, WMM, or our wireless multimedia. So go ahead and click on QoS, and you'll see here is where we have our WMM policy. And we do have this set to allowed, and that's what you want. You do not want it to be disabled. Um, if you do have it set for required, what that means is that any client who joins this particular WLAN has to support WMM. Now, in order to get 802.11n speeds, you just need to make sure that it's set to allowed. Uh, required is optional, and, and uh, that would be one of the things that you could do. So, But that should give you the three different things that we most commonly see as being issues. Hope that helps you. Take care.